Ignition sequence start. Astronauts report it feels good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Rocketbook Live edition. This is the Beacon's Big Bang. We're here. We're really excited about launching our brand new product. Oh, whoa. And we got the Rocketbook Beacons. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Peter. I'm joined by our two co-founders and co-captains, Jake and Joe. <laughs> All right. Big day today. It's the Beacon's Big Bang. So I guess first off, what are Beacons? Hey, check these out. Four reusable stickers that you pop onto any whiteboard, use it with the free Rocketbook app to turn this thing into the whiteboard of the digital future. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have a whole bunch planned today. As always, if it's your first Rock time. Rocketbook Live Edition, this is the Beacon's Big oh, Bang. Oh, there we go. Repeat. Okay. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of difficulties there, but uh, as always, our phone numbers are open for callers. That number is 617-249-3724, right across the bottom of the screen. Call in, ask us your questions. Uh, as a little bit of a bonus to one of our lucky callers, we're going to be sending a free set of beacons, absolutely free of charge, no shipping, but all you have to do is call in, call in with your questions, one of you will be receiving your free set. We'll also be snacking on delicious Doritos throughout the entire live broadcast. <laughs> I won't, because I don't want to be lactated with me, but Joe will. <laughs> I'm on a, a carbogenic diet now. <laughs> All carbs. Something else we have going on, uh, very important for uh, Beacon's research purposes, is uh, two of our engineers are in the lab over here figuring out how to optimize the Beacon stacking. Uh, whoever will uh, set the highest beacon stack. We have a competition on our hands? Oh, it's a yeah. bit of a competition with T.Y. and Allie over there. Look at that. Oh, all right, we'll be checking back in with T.Y. and Allie. What's uh, what's what's your strategy over there? Just going straight up. I'm just up? gonna stack the highest. Stack the That's highest. Good strategy. strategy. All right. Win. And what are the stakes here? What does the winner get? And what does the loser get? Bragging rights. Bragging rights. Uh, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, the beacon crown. and the beacon crown. Ooh. Ooh. Did We're you mention the beacon, beacon crown? The today. beacon's crown. How could I not? <laughs> Here Sounds we have nice. crafted in gold and beacon mm. <laughs> the oh, crown wow. that the champion mm. will win. So. Well, uh, Stay tuned to that. It's glorious. The of the stream. <laughs> All right, enough of this nonsense. Let's get to a demo. Let's show. Right. Let's show people how beacons work. Dylan, bring up the bring up a phone screen here. I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm going to walk you through exactly how this works. As Joe pointed out, there's four reusable beacons stuck to the corners of this whiteboard. That's all you need to do. Now watch this. It's going to go fast, but I'll talk you through it as much as I can. Hold it up to any whiteboard with beacons on it. Bam. Processes it. It's now captured on my device. All I gotta do to send it to the cloud is press next, and then I have uh, the rocket symbol set up for Google Drive. I'll send a copy over to email. You can set up all seven of these shortcuts inside of the Rocketbook app to basically any cloud destination. Hit next. Now, what you see right now, what it's transcribing, and it did it in a fraction of a second, is it's actually, can you see the board too? Yeah, okay, great. You can, it took all of the written text up here and transcribed it with artificial intelligence, including the Big Bang, which has hashtags on both sides. That tells the app that that's the title of the scan, which is why you can see it's called Big Bang on the app. Send it, boom, now right inside of the, uh, the Google Drive. So hopefully Dylan can bring that up right quick, and I'll show you. Man, quality. gone are the days of just taking that picture with your phone, huh? Oh, man. I, you know. The, the share button shuffle, if you took it with a real photo. So we have a uh, we have a, a regular photo. That's kind of what it looks like. We just shot that a second ago. Do you have that up on the screen? Oh yeah. So on the left, that's what that's what your photo would look like buried in your photo roll. And first of all, it would take you 30 clicks to get it to your Google Drive. And plus it looks like it got taken underwater, like muddy water, right? And on the right is the final processed version of your scan, right? And you can see how vibrant the colors are. We put a lot of sophisticated image processing into auto-cropping and color popping your scans. So that's basically how it works. I'm sure we'll get back to a few more demos later, but maybe we should check in on the stacking competition because that's super exciting. Well, let's see how it's going over there. It uh, looks like we have a couple of different strategies going on. Uh, Allie with a more streamlined traditional method while TY appears to be creating some sort of strong 
beacon's base of which to build on. So uh, mm. we'll keep looking over there. And they seem the to be attempting to be moving at a furious pace. Uh, as, as always, the phone lines are still open. That number scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Go ahead, give us a call. And we're yeah. snacking on delicious and here we go. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frito Life. And we have a caller on the line. Mm. Oh. Hello, you're live with Joe, Joe and Jake. Hey, Wait. how you guys doing? Hey, I used your boards. All I used the uh, beacons. I was a founder. I was one of the early members that um, helped crowdsource this. You're and the I best. Thanks. Thank Post-it you very much. As well. Go ahead. So, you can, I, can you demonstrate how you can use it with the large Post-it note boards? Because that's how I use it. Oh, go on. Yeah. How do you use it with a large Post-it note board? You yep. just put them on, so on the corners of the... When I do these Lean Six Sigma events, I can make a process map, use a large post-it note board, get the map, in case I don't have a whiteboard, and off I go to the races. Man, that's the best thing about just launching a product and putting it out in the world and having backers like yourself use it. You never know how people are going to use it, whether it's teachers, people of corporate professionals, people trying to send them remotely across the globe uh, with our Snapchat, Snapcast feature, which I'll, I'll show you later. But like someone like yourself using them in meetings, um, in corporate events, on different surfaces that we couldn't even, we couldn't have even predicted that. That's great so hack. awesome. Yeah, Thank you for hack. sharing that. Hey, great idea. Hey, before, we, before we leave you, can we get a name to enter you in for a chance to win that free set of beacons? My name is Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thank All you right. very much, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for being an early adopter with Rocketbook. All right. Why don't we, you mentioned Snapcast. Why don't we get into Snapcast? Huh. Let's, let's keep the demos rolling. All right, here. love, how, love the how demos. How about some more huh? smoke in the meantime? All right, so the whole problem. <laughs> 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 All right, keep it rolling. All right, so the whole problem with uh, with whiteboards, right, is they're collaborative surfaces. But what if you're collaborating across the globe? Oh, oh, oh and the line. I guess we're interrupted. Let's, let's take a phone call. Let's take a phone call. And you're live with Jake and Joe. Hi. Yes, I was wondering. As long as the phone can capture the four beacons, is there any limit on the area of the board? Hmm. That's a good question. So it kind of the. the the long answer is it sort of depends on which phone you have and how far away you are. But basically, we've tested this up to boards that are 8 to 10 feet uh, long. And so you can scan in both portrait okay. and landscape mode. So you, you are able to capture very large whiteboards. Obviously, at some point, there is a, uh, a physical limit of how much the, um, how much the image process can, processing can handle as far as detecting the beacons, but also making sure your writing is legible. But let's you, say you have a gigantic board, like it's 16 feet by 16 feet. To just get it to scan, you might need to double up the beacons, actually. But you can totally do that by putting them uh, like so and turning two Turn. beacons into, into a, uh, a super beacon. One super beacon. But that said, like you're gonna you're gonna find some some limitations. You know, you're not gonna want to have a gigantic board uh, with small writing. Uh, you're gonna want to keep it reasonable so that you can look at them uh, in in their digitized form. Yeah, and okay. well, and a good reminder because we forgot to mention that not only does it work on any size uh, whiteboard with those limits in mind, but also whiteboard paint. So giant walls. Uh, it sticks to anything that's yeah. non-porous. Set this back up. So okay. And what's what's your name? Because you're entered into the Beacons giveaway. Excellent, Nina. Nina. Thanks so much, Nina. Uh, but I mean, Nina will have to pay shipping and handling for sure, right? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. We're what have we gone oh, crazy? We're, 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 we're giving them beacons up completely free, free, and we mean it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank Dorito, you very Dorito. much. Thanks, Nina. <laughs> well, fantastic. Back to the Snapcast demo. Imagine Nina is on the phone with me, and I want to share my whiteboard with her. But all she has is a web browser, and of course we're talking on the phone. Well, <laughs> it's like phone call city. Let's just keep it rolling. Right, we're going to get the snapcast. We're going to we'll get the snapcast. snapcast. Thanks for calling, and who are we talking with right now? Hello? Hi, hey, yeah. Hey, who's this? Hey, this is Dave Gaidos. Um Hey, I was just curious. Um, uh, can I save money on this by maybe using uh, those Doritos instead of the beacon? <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's hold one up. Let's see how that goes. Scotch tape Let's see how we're doing there. Uh, yeah, I don't, it doesn't quite it's, fit. Uh, it's not quite the I mean, red it's shade. Not quite. I mean, it's not fluorescent orange, which is also important for the computer vision. But I will say Doritos are delicious. I would not recommend you try eating the... the uh, these things they're they're made let's talk about how they're made they're made of a, a silicone substrate uh, with fluorescence printed on them on one side and on the other side a little bit of a gecko 
right? Do you want to describe that a little bit more and maybe have a little bit of visuals ready to go? Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. Dylan, on point. There hey, the sounds visuals. good. Hey, I really, I really like your notebooks, by the way, and I'm looking forward to trying the beacons out. Awesome. Thank you very much. Was it, uh, was it Dave? Yeah, Dave Guidos. Thank you very much for calling in, Dave. Also remember to try hey, my pleasure. <laughs> you guys take care. We'll go back to how they're made in a second. Why don't you, let's get well, to the Oh, let's see how we're All right, ready. We're going to try go. Snapcast before the next call comes Watch in. Watch out, Snapcast Someone's is. Someone's remote. All right, let's just put it in Snapcast mode. Boom. Snapcast mode, ready to go. I'm going to point it. And now anyone who has that link that I shared with them, you can see it down at the bottom, can follow along and see the current version of their whiteboard. Uh, maybe write something new on there, Pete, if you got a, if a, a uh, right, because we're collaborating in real time. We've got a crazy meeting going on. Sure. Boom. Oh, good diagram. All right, Ooh, someone's following nice. along. Yeah. We're going to take another Snapcast here in that web link that they're looking at uh, um, across the globe there. Uh, now you can have many people following along or just one person following along, and then boom, they're always kept up to speed as your meeting progresses. And that's oh, let's Snapcast. Let's update, keep, keep, update one more time. Keep, keep Snapcasting. Keep right. yeah. Let's get one more. Let's get one more snap going. And it's great. Rocketbook is largely a remote company. People are uh, all over the country, so we use Snapcast in uh, meetings and Google Hangouts. Now, sometimes, like people ask us all the time if we could, if they could hire Pete to, to uh, <laughs> be the be the whiteboard drawer at their meetings. The answer is no. He's got another job here. Uh, but thanks for asking, and we appreciate uh, your admiration of his of his drawing skills. <laughs> All right, let's uh, check one more time into the stacking competition. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, it sees Whoa. Allie has actually Whoa. jumped out to Whoa. a bit of a lead. But is there a tape measure around? Who has a tape measure? Michael, get over there and uh, measure. See, see what the score is. Quick pause, quick pause. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, be careful. I like be careful. TY's doubling it up. Just oh, yeah. Is that a stability play over Interesting. there? Interesting. Oh, wait, maybe actually is Allie doubling it up? Because oh, I just don't see from this so, angle. So, 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 okay, so they're doing... They're doubling off, so those uh, you know leaning of towers of pizza. They're going to be close to the world record tipsy. of beacon setting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leaning tower of beacons. I Call like it. Guinness World Book of Records. Someone's going to win today. Oh, also by the way, those lines are still open. We still want to send out a free set of beacons. The number is six one seven two four nine three seven two four. Scrolling across the bottom of the screen, let us know your questions. Anything beacon related, we'd love to chat. Joe started talking about how beacons are constructed, and it's a, it's a little bit deceptive. They probably look like they're just stickers on the corner of a whiteboard, but it's, there's a lot more to it than that. There, it's actually a, a custom silicone uh, blend that is just the right durometer for the application. So you can probably see they're, they're like bendy, but they're also uh, you know, stiff enough to hold the form. And they're also thick enough where you can stick them to a whiteboard and very easily uh, use your finger to, to pull, pull them off and stick them right back on like that. And it was actually a bit of an engineering feat to get this fluorescent ink to stick on silicone, which it really didn't want to do and uh, stick on in a, in a reliable way. We learned so much about working with silicone. And did you know that silicone is, is porous? So they don't make things like balloons out of them? Yeah. Uh, boy, did we learn that the hard way, but we did a ton of R&D and tests, and now we came up with a, finally a super solid product that's really durable and restickable over and over. If, uh, if you ever get s stuff on the sticky side, what do you do? You simply uh, run it under uh, under water, under a yep. sink. So yeah, uh, we had the graphic up earlier. I don't think we really spoke to it though. It's on the back is uh, it's micro suction technology. So it's really like millions of little suction cups that stick to anything that's uh, that's non-porous. So sticks to any whiteboard, sticks to whiteboard walls, sticks to windows. But there's only so many applications when you need to scan a window. But yep. hey, you never know. And hey, we wanted them to be portable, right? So you could throw them on the whiteboard. Uh, in the conference room, bring them into your own personal whiteboard, et cetera, et cetera. We've been hearing from customers all over the place that they just want to put them there and leave them everywhere. So we've got one packs, three packs, five packs available. They're available on our website at getrocketbook.com. They're available on amazon.com as well. Uh, they're available in the UK at getrocketbook.co.uk, delivering to all of Europe as well. And uh, pretty soon, uh, give it a few weeks, we'll be available in other parts throughout the world. Yeah. Yeah, beacons are pretty awesome. Uh, what, what if you wanted to carry them around? Uh, do you have an option for that? Yeah, we're shipping carrying cases with, uh, with all, all, of the sing, all of the single packs, packs are coming with, yeah. with carrying cases. If you're buying in bulk, we're not, we're not necessarily including them except in some scenarios, but you'll see when you buy them. 
Um, yeah, so we just wanted to make these just like our other uh, product, like the Rocket Book Everlast. Let's make it endlessly reusable, something that you can bring around with you and, and use all the time to capture all of your handwriting, no matter what surface you're writing in, your, your notebook, your, your whiteboard. Let's, let's capture all of those precious ideas and those collaboration uh, you know, uh, notes. Let's, let's unleash them across the globe to let our ideas run wild. Wait, we're getting so many calls that our phone lines are literally down. We oh. can't handle all the phones. <laughs> um, so we might just play a voice now for some people. But okay. Oh, really? Like oh, wow. Oh, like, oh, my God. Yeah. Really? So, yeah, we're, bringing awesome. down, we're bringing down the phone lines. We're bringing down the phone lines. That's the, that's the first time. Beacons, yeah. have, beacons have broken the internet. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Broke Verizon. <laughs> but other than that, you know, they're quality didn't, network. What yeah, they yeah. didn't break is delicious Dur Doritos. Dur <laughs> Oh, we did. This is a voicemail or a caller? Voicemail. Okay, let's do the voicemail. What's in the voicemail? It does not sound like too interesting of a voicemail. In total. Oh. Um, one. Hello? Oh, hello? Oh, okay. it was a live call. Okay. 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 <laughs> Who's this? Hey, love your products. I've been an early adopter. Question for you. This is a game changer, obviously, for uh, office collaboration. Are you going to be integrating with any other corporate type, uh, you know, SaaS services, what does the roadmap look like? Yeah. Oh yeah, so to look at the roadmap, I mean, we've had tons of Salesforce customers come uh, knocking on our door asking for a Salesforce integration. That's, that's one area in my background. I had some, some time spent at, at Salesforce. Um, we're, we're thinking of that and, and curious, we're always listening to our users. If you go to ideas.getrocketbook.com, submit ideas there, they get upvoted. Actually, a whiteboard product was an idea once. It got upvoted. Boom! Now it's a reality. So I'm curious to hear from you. And by the way, what's what's your name? My name is Mike. Michael. Uh, what type of corporate integrations would you like to see? Well, in particular, Salesforce. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll, we'll you, <laughs> you may have just affected the roadmap. Yeah, and go to ideas.getrocketbook.com. I think Salesforce yeah. integration is there. Yeah. Give it an upvote, and you know, Stephen and. And the rest of our whole product team will be focusing on that and figuring out our next uh, next new features. And so Mike, thanks so much. It's worth mentioning that, of course, we support uh, any email address, including corporate email addresses, as well as the corporate version of Microsoft OneNote yep. and OneDrive as well. So we do have some, but we've it's not the first time we've heard Salesforce. So always glad to get another upvote for that one. And in, and in case, yeah. it's, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say it's particularly powerful on the side of you know preparing, having client meetings, have all the information right there in the record. So yeah, thumbs up guys, good stuff. Thank you. Mike, thanks so much. Thank yeah. you. And um, you know, we've built Rocketbook, whether you're using our notebooks or the Beacons product with a direct integration with a ton of popular services. So you can avoid the dreaded share button shuffle. Gone other days of pressing share, pressing the service, trying to find the folder, subfolder, etc. Now your next meeting has started. Just configure seven places with seven symbols Boom, either mark it in your notebook or press it right after you scan uh, your whiteboard and it's in the right place instantly before your next meeting starts. Our phone lines are back up, uh, so go ahead and talk. Who do we have here? Hey, this is Tristan Toll. Hey, Tristan, how you doing? Oh, good. My question is with your Snapcast feature, does it take every time you redo the picture on a Snapcast, does it save it as a PDF? So I'm thinking as a teacher, um, I'm a teacher here in Iowa, and if I'm doing a step-by-step -step process and I'm doing a snap test, will it do a PDF of each step, new step so kids could kind of find a, could kind of follow a linear order? That's a great question. And so the short answer is not today, uh, but th there is a feature on the roadmap that will allow some backwards looking to the Snapcast feature, including some intelligence that will help dedupe repeated scans. And so you'll be able to go to that Snapcast page, which is really just, you know, this is the first version, what you see today, which is just a live update, but including some history to go back in time, both online. PDF, that's the first time I think we've heard uh, a PDF of the whole session, but it makes a lot of sense. It makes a ton of sense. And that's one of the great things about getting a first product out there. We follow what's called the lean startup methodology. Just get something out there that's minimally valuable, uh, viable, and uh, but useful to the people so that not only will they use it and get value out of it, but as they use it, have those ahas and say, oh, I wish it could do that, I wish it could do this, and then have our actual users like yourself communicate that to us 
and, um, and have us make our decisions. So that's another plug for ideas.getrocketbook.com. Go there, if you don't see the idea, please enter it there. Other people will upvote it, and that's a, a huge influencer on our future pro product roadmap. Yeah, it's so a great idea. this is the idea. beginning of, of a platform uh, that we're building for you. Great idea, yeah, totally get it. Yeah, well, and I'm, I'm a music teacher, so you know, having kids being able to collaborate and write music together, um, I got the Beacons when they were part of a Kickstarter, so I think it's a really cool collaboration tool. Um, that might, you know, even music collaboration, it's, it's a new way to think outside the box, so. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. What grade do you teach? Uh, I teach middle school, five to eight. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Thanks for being a teacher. We love teachers. You're the best. Yeah, thank you for being a backer on crowdfunding as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. That was an accident. <laughs> Is that how we thank people now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we check in on the stacking competition. For, I, I saw I saw a little incident over there. Uh, was, yeah, did someone fall behind. Yeah, we had a slick tumble on Allie's neck. part. Allie, yeah. Allie tumbled, but she seemed to catch up somehow. Yeah. Imagine if she hadn't tumbled where she'd be today. Yeah. It's also uh, important that you do have to be able to wow. pull your hands away neck for it to count as a stack. Ooh. <laughs> oh, another call, call coming in. Man, it's a phone call parade today, huh? Yeah. All right. Hi, right, you're live with Jake and Joe. Who do we have? Hi, my name is Peggy Ann, and I have a question for you both. Peggy, was it? Peggy Ann, that's hey, me. Peggy hey, Ann. Peggy Ann, yeah. Thanks so. for calling in. What's your question? Yeah, so my mom is a teacher, and I'm looking for a Christmas present for her, and I'm wondering if she could use these beacons in her classroom. Oh, man, you know what would be a great uh, present for her? Get a, um, a rocket pack filled with a few Everlast, rocket book Everlast notebooks, Throw some beacons in there, maybe some friction pens. I mean, it's everything she needs to digitize. That's all the classroom. she needs to digitize her classroom in her life and have a, a whole kit. So that's thank you for teeing me up to pitch our whole product line there. Yeah, but oddly <laughs> enough, we have a teacher uh, live on satellite who's going to walk us through the uh, an education application. All right, Dylan, let's, do we, let's do we have it. Maggie on satellite? Yeah. Peggy Ann, watch this next clip. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone. I'm Maggie Robbins. I've been teaching math at Westside Middle. Academy in Connecticut for 30 years, and I've been using Rockabook Beacons for two months. By the end of class, my whiteboard is a work of art. Beacons let me scan and save those notes to use in an extra help session or as a reference for next year, so I don't have to start from scratch. I've also started a new routine of putting the whiteboard scans in a shared folder online for my students to reference later. That way they can concentrate on the lesson instead of worrying about copying my notes. It's an old school style with a new school twist. Well, that's how I use the beacons. Thanks, guys. Back to you. Mm. Thank you, Maggie. We, and we've just been sitting here enjoying mm. delicious Doritos by oh, Frito-Lay. <laughs> what an entertaining newspaper. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Well, and so when we're not in space suits and sunglasses, we do spend a lot of time in the conference room. So Joe and I love getting all that input from oh. teachers about how it's used in the classroom. And we have a huge amount of interest from the education space. It's really mind-boggling. We first met uh, Ms. Mrs. Robbins, Maggie Robbins, I think in 2015, our first crowdfunding campaign. And since then, she's been showing us all over the place how she can, how we can, how other teachers can use it in the classrooms, especially in math and science, where, boy, you have to write by hand. You can't really type out your notes these days and everyone's using whiteboards these days and and, and um in the classroom as well as uh the thinkboard x which is coming out with beacons applied to them which you can yeah, use your peel and stick yeah. right it's good. and we have another call coming in just like that love it all right go ahead who are we talking with today hi this is patty Patty. Hey, patty patty yes all right cool um i have a question for you i'm a middle school teacher and i have your rock books that I use with my students in class, and they love them. Um, my tables they work on are whiteboard tables, and I'm thinking of getting the beacons for the tables. I had asked a question about that. Um, I have a separate question. The students have gotten whiteboard like dry erase marker on the rocket books. Is there any way to remove that? Mm, that's a tough one yeah, right there. You yeah. can try a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, but unlikely. You might just want to tear that 
book out. <laughs> then tear that that page out and kind of start over. Does anyone else have a? Have you, you... Usually, a bit of rubbing alcohol or even some hand sanitizer. If you scrub that in there, it can remove the ink from that page. Uh, not a hundred percent success rate. The only thing you have to be careful of is it might also remove the destination symbols on your page. But it's definitely worth okay. a shot to bring some life back into that page. And uh, and when Peter's okay. not uh, running mission control here, he's uh, he's working in customer happiness. So you should. Uh, if you've ever emailed <laughs> or chatted on our website, you yeah. may have responded. I uh, got a response here from Peter. And if you do okay. have any problems, uh, shoot us an email at feedback at getrocketbook.com. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Great call. Yeah, you know. Uh, what I've heard from a few people in the classroom, and actually a lot in the corporate environments, is the uh, the smart boards, like the Google Jam boards, and things yeah, like that. That's yeah. what we run into in um, in some of the offices that we visit, as well as uh, WeWorks. You and know, but one of the reasons why we decided there was still room for this product is because everyone was telling us we have these big two thousand dollars smart boards, but nobody even knows how to turn them on. Yeah. Right? Here comes the right, phone operator. Yeah. Oh, oh, we lost uh, someone. We are, okay, we well, are breaking the, the, the telco <laughs> systems today. Huh? Let's uh, check in on that stacking competition. Yeah. See how that's going. Ooh, there we go. Oh, man. Get it's a tape measure over, over there. It, oh. I think it's neck and neck. Oh, be careful. <laughs> mm. oh. What's also neck and neck is original Doritos and Cool Ranch Ooh, in my hold, hold, on, hold on for a second. We have a caller on the line. Uh, who, who do we have right now? Hi, this is Jeff from Detroit. How are you doing? Hey, Joe. Hey, doing all right. Um, my question for you is, will the Rocket Beacons still interact with the email transcription option and also the smart search options? Yes, they will. And, uh, and what, and, uh, uh, not, not right, Michael's saying not right now. No, not, not, not transcription. Oh, not, not immediately. Not, not immediately. Not immediately. Smart yeah. search, yes. Okay. okay, got it, yes. Smart titles and smart search, so it is transcribing it to make it all searchable no matter where it goes, whether it's, you know, in Dropbox, you know, in a, in a drive, it's all in, all of that text is embedded, uh, but our team is kind of working on some formatting issues. As you can imagine, things are formatted a little bit differently before we kind of expose them in, in email and, and, uh, and show them to you, uh, but, but we're working on that. Stay tuned, a little bit of artificial intelligence tuning is underway and the feature will be coming to you as soon as we can get it and out. And I just wanna hover on it, just in case other people watching don't know about our other OCR technology. And so here's the big ones for you, OCR? Joe. OCR, what's that? Optical okay. character recognition. And so, so Joe, here's the big things. And I think that the smart search is actually the most useful when it comes to uh, whiteboards because what that does is that it, it does uh, look at all the text and artificial intelligence does its best to transcribe that text and then overlays it as invisible text within the PDF. Now, what that means for you as a, as a, uh, as a user is that you're able to search uh, with text on Google Drive or Dropbox or in your email and you find these images that look like just normal images, but it's really finding the embedded text. And then also from my, uh, from my demo, the, the smart titles with the hashtags does work very well uh, with, uh, with uh, beacons and whiteboards. And of course, like any technology like this, the neater you write, the more accurate it's gonna be, but it also is getting better every single day as our artificial intelligence engine is consuming more and more examples and learning from users like you. But that said, we can't see your notes, they're all secure, and uh, nobody can see your notes except you. Okay. Thanks for calling in. All right. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks. That's, that's all the time we have for calls today. Got to wrap up, huh? Amazing. However, wow, it went fast. <laughs> Can we get some more smoke before we go? <laughs> and we, we bought the smoke Delivered. machine. <laughs> all right. All right. And and we, have, we haven't forgotten about that free set of beacons, and uh, I'm getting a transition that looks like Nina is going to be our champion of a free set of beacons. All right, uh, Nina. We'll, we'll be reaching out to Hey, you. can we call an audible here? Can we choose one more person? We got Nina. Choose one more person to get out of. I thought, I guess we, I guess we, we let's, let's, make it, let's make it this person if they're, if they. Oh, oh well, all right, maybe we'll just hang up on a chance yeah. of free beacons. Uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna crunch some numbers, give out another free set of beacons. Hold so up. we gotta give the crown away. So I'll go over. The, let me walk over to the. Uh, the Who, oh, you better hurry up! It's neck and neck. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh just, that was the deciding factor, I think. Hands off! Hands, hands, hands off! The hands have to be removed. Everyone, take your hands off. Oh! 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 Oh!
course, this was a uh, very important oh, research that we fantastic. performed. It's uh, yeah. not at all pointless. Uh, of course, thanks wait, for our wait, sponsor. We have one more set of beacons going out to Tristan. Uh, Tristan, uh, we're Tristan. Nice. you as well. Congratulations. And, uh, remember to enjoy beacons and enjoy Doritos. We're going to be here to celebrate Delicious. launch all day. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us. Oh, 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 Thank you.